also today I'm going to be showing you a little French twist that I like to do on my hair. It's really, really easy, really fast. I used to do it actually all the time when I was in school. And I would just kind of flow my hair back and I didn't really even know what I was doing. But one day I decided that, hey, this might make a really cool hairstyle. So I tried it and uh, I really liked it. So I've, I've done it ever since then. So keep watching to find out how to do it. Okay, so I'm going to start out with, um, I blow dried my hair. I've got some hairspray in it also. Um, and quick tip I wanted to give, if your hair is kind of thin, like I have, I have pretty thin hair. Um, this stuff really, really helps. It's the Beyond the Zone rock on um, it's actually a volumizing powder and I got this at Sally's and it was only well, it was eight dollars so it's kind of expensive for what is in this little bottle but you really only need a little bit and you just take it out and you just sprinkle it into your hair into your roots and then just massage it in and it really makes your hair thicker and it lets it hold those braids or whatever kind of parasol you want to do so that's awesome and also you can get a teasing comb um, and I got this at Sally's as well and um, it's just got really thick bristles and you can really really tease your hair with this um, probably not the best for your hair but I use it all the time especially on my crown area I use it a lot for that and um, also the hairspray that I use is Tresme. I've always used this hairspray. I use the brown kind and the green kind as well. The green holds really, really strongly. But um, I like this brown to kind of spray in it, give it some texture before you start styling your hair. So that's something that I really, really love. Okay, so I'm just going to use this comb that I got at Sally's as well. And I'm just going to comb, comb my hair out. Make sure it doesn't really have any tangles in it. And I just blew mine dry with a round brush and sprayed it. And I put a little gel on the ends as well. Um, so to start this braid, I'm just kind of going to start right here. And you can tease it a little if you want to. Okay, just to give it a little box. Okay, and then I'm going to get a piece and this piece under it. I'm just going to twist it over and tuck it behind, doing a real twist. Okay, and I'm just going to grab more hair, hold the hairline, twist it back over. You're kind of like wrapping this section over the one behind it. See what I'm saying? You kind of grab it, front tree. And twist it behind. And with a little bit of practice, it's super fast, super easy. You just get it and twist it. And I always like to leave this little part out right here. That's just me. Um, and twist it behind. And this really holds your hair really well. Just get it and twist. The hair, twist it around, get it and twist, and I'm just kind of do it to the nape of my neck. And then I'm gonna stop, and I'm gonna put a bobby pin in it. If I can find the bobby pin. Okay, here we go. And when you bobby pin it, put it in, going towards what you just braided. So kind of put it in there, slide it up towards the braid. That really locks it into place and it won't slide as much. And then we're going to go back and loosen that up in just a second. I'm going to go ahead and do the other side as well. I'm going to go ahead and get a bobby pin and decide to do it the exact same way. I'm going to do it without watching myself and show you how easy it is. Just get that front piece. You get the next piece, and you twist it. Get the next piece, and just kind of crisscross your fingers. Go to leave that part out. And crisscross. And just keep doing it. Until you reach the back. 
I'm gonna go ahead and put the bobby pin in. Okay, and that's pretty secure. Um, now you can go back, pull out some pieces. This is actually from the back of my hair. What I like to do is I tease this part before I do this, actually, the crown area. And I just get this part of the back right here. Make sure you can see. And I just kind of pick it up a little bit. And then I'll bobby pin it. And you may need more than one bobby pin. And you can put this part in a ponytail. You can also put it in an update. So, You can spritz your hair a little bit with your hair. Just to give it some hold. And you can twist it up. Twist it around like this. And then just pin it into place. however it'll say but um you can sometimes I'll curl this part these hairs that are hanging out and uh, sometimes I curl this part right here down my bangs but um you can really kind of loosen it up just go back in there and make it really loose if you need to you might want to put a body pin like right there and you can slide it in towards the top of your head so it'll have that bobby pin really well and that kind of makes it a little more stable okay and I'm gonna do this side the exact same way slide that into the braid and it just gives some hold but you won't see the bobby pin And to me, the messier the better, you know? So I do kind of see some places I can tuck in if I'd like to. And it's really easy to do. And it's even easier if you've curled your hair before doing this. That makes it a lot easier. Okay, and if you need to, you can also spritz your bangs, which I always need to. And this part right here, you can kind of lift it up a little bit, twist it back. And that just helps hold it. Okay. Okay, and then here's the finished look of the hairstyle. really fast it's really easy it's great for short hair because this braiding technique holds your layers together really well and uh, like I said if it falls it's cute when it falls because it's just kind of PC and relaxed you know and uh, it's also really comfortable so I hope you enjoyed this video let me know if there's any more you'd like to see leave me comments down below and suggestions and I'll see you in my next video mm -hmm.